Yeah, last night was a pretty unforgettable night. We um, cooked up a good feed and sat around the fire and we moved the fire down to the beach. Uh, Mark was pretty keen to set up a rod and have some bait out off the beach. And uh, we kept getting, the, we got the line snipped off a couple of times and um, and the bait taken, so they kept rebaiting and rebaiting and it was Bax's turn to rebait. And I don't think he tied his rod up well enough and I just see Mark and Baxter start jump up and start running. Next sec, and then I was running after him and all I saw was this rod hit the water, skip along the water two or three times and then gone. <laughs> it just went. The rod just came straight out of there. Go Try to catch me howling at the moon. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Oh, 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 oh. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Try to catch me howling at the moon. <laughs> Fuck, that was a miss. Got that? Good morning. Yeah, you do. It's called a meter barrow down there, but I'll put it back. Oh, did he have a rod attached to it? Oh, is that what that was? Oh. Did you throw that back to you? Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was his. Mm. his. Oh, I'm still so filthy about that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We're out here trying to help Stevie lift the curse. Stevie's got uh, a little bit of a barrow curse, I reckon. He's lost plenty. That first barrow that he hooked sounded like it was a big one and he lost that one. And uh, I've seen him lose a few more. Often uh, have a bit of a dry spell, not too many barrow around, so see if he can lift it today, but I think we'll uh, give him a bit about it. Um, yeah. He's cursed. Barricast. Drink this coffee, start feeling human, jump in the boat, go straight up the coast to that furthest headland, <coughs> and then just work our way back. Flicking lures, trying to catch bait, looking Same at cool shit. Around. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm really keen. I've seen some awesome shots up at that headland. I've never been up there. Yeah. So I'm really keen to see what it, like, fish it. It mm. just looks like it's the best fishing spot ever. Mm. Yep. People catching finger mark. 20 meters off you the coast. Can, yeah. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah, that's the plan. We're going to catch a finger, yep, mark, finger mark about 20 meters off the coast, yep. eight kilometers north. You got your live bait rod? Oh. <laughs> so it's punching up there and then. So I've just headed up the beach uh, about 8 k's to uh, this just massive rocky headland and then just out off the headland is this um, little island just sim similar to that one in the background there. So we just put the Minn Kota in and uh, we're sort of working our way around these rocks, just flicking the rocks. We um, haven't had any luck yet but uh, we've actually got to follow first cast so there's fish here, we just need to get them on a hook. It's funny this morning we had a few good hits at that first spot um, off the rocks and it's funny if you catch those three fish you have a really good morning. If you miss those three fish you have a really shit morning. So we had a shit morning. <laughs> it's cursed. We're going to go for a tub now, um, head up to fresh water. I think we'll take some rods with us too. Um, might be a few jungle perch or something up in the fresh water there. <laughs> It's better than the mango.
goes back down there for a swim. Where does it go, Baxter? Does it head up further? Yeah, and then until you lose it in the rocks a bit. Yeah, right righto. Where are these jungle perch? There's a couple of little dudes down in here. It's friggin' nice. About a billion degrees cooler here. I'm trying to get in that water and wash some of the bloody camping grime off me. But I don't want to spook the fish first for Stevie. I help Stevie lift the curse. You're almost better off up here, man. Yeah. I lost me lure. I thought it was in there. I'm still catching a jungle perch. <laughs> Worst case scenario, we just have bacon. Because we're not catching fish. Look at this guy, he won't find him. Uh, Let's try and catch one fish in seven day challenge. The view's pretty incredible up there. You can see out over all those islands. Flinders Islands, aren't they? Yep. Yep, Flinders Islands. And uh, the ocean looks blowy out there still, but uh, hot work climbing up there. The rocks are hot on your feet. So I think it's time to go back down the creek, cool off a bit. So what do you reckon? You jump in the boat, troll down there, try and pick something up. We'll jump in the BT, drive all the way down to that mouth, see if we can get some salmon or some barra or something. Barra curse. Yeah. And then between us, hopefully we can catch some dinner. Yeah. And, and you I'll, can meet us down there. I'll meet you down there, I'll come in and see how you went. Yeah. Yep. All right. Sounds good. like a plan. Sounds good. Let's do it. Tight lines. Let's do yeah. it. Tight lines. Yeah, it was a slow start. Um, it was this morning, we just couldn't get anything. Nice bath in the middle of the day in the fresh water, absolutely beautiful. And then uh, good to get at least one late fish in the freezer. So I have to give Mark props for that one. Um, so yeah, that's it. I used the, uh, the pumice to give the... Um, just you know, take any crap off the edge because this was our bait knife. Because uh, I started filleting and we didn't have the fillet kit here, so I grabbed the bait knife, bit of pumice stone, 
gave it a quick rub down, cleaned it up, and um, it's pretty good. This is the spotty we caught. It was about 65, um, and uh, legal for them is 60. Um, we'll, we'll get the uh, fillets washed after we're done, and um, yeah, onto the fry pan. Baxter, has Stevie yeah. caught anything since we've been here? Um, no. Maybe a cold? Saving all my luck for Lakefield. Catch all the barramundi. Barracas. I got that gold spot in the boat this morning. Two brim. Bloody big caddy. Fat caddy. And then that jack. So, good arvo. Shark. Here he comes. He's not a bad size. Give it a ten. Woo. Fog dog, easy beer batter, nice and easy. Just add beer, mix, shallow fry, eat, done. Good on your fog dog. What says? Empty half of the packet into a bowl. Mix with enough beer until thick and smooth. That's about 130 mils for idiots like you. Oi. Cut fillets into pieces, dry, then add to batter. Heat at least four millimeters deep of oil. I'm a little bit confused, right? Because the first instruction is empty half a packet into a bowl. Mix enough beer. But when do we put the second half in? I've got this. It's a crispy finished beer batter. Fog dog has a lot to answer for. Especially for the grog bog tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> We need to put that hot plate on the fire. I think Vax is on to it, down there. I put that yeah. hot plate on. <laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> cool. Wait till the oil. Looks great! Bring the oil down. That's a wrap. Done for the Arvo. We're going to head back to camp. I'm just, still fishing, Stevie, mate. you're still fishing, <laughs> mate. I'm going to have to call it for you. Put it away. Yeah, no worries, mate. Wonder man. Oh, at least you call the fish. Save the best for last. Hey, Mark. I can't drop this. It'd be devastating. No, no pressure on you, mate. You can do it, Stevie. We believe in you. Oh. Oh, oh it's the cutest oh, little it's a little cat. He <laughs> came over with the pliers. This bastard. Already knowing. Oh, oh, I would have rather catch nothing. Barricades. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, your pliers. Oh. Yeah, here. Oh. Max tracks off the Try to top them over. <laughs> <laughs> the cheers catch on fire. It's happened to everyone. Everyone's fucking chairs burn. <laughs> that sucks so bad that Phil's chair just burned. <laughs> Phil's gutted. Phil, you've really fucked up here, mate. <laughs> you just oh, sit on the SQ. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's no good, mate. Yeah. That was your chair. It was my chair. Well, oh. it was it wasn't my chair. <laughs> I owned the I chair. It was Phil's no, chair. I sat in it, looking after it for Phil. <laughs> so it was your chair that burned. No, no, but. Phil's chair. <laughs> Sorry, Phil. <laughs> yeah, that's Phil's song. <laughs> ode, ode to Phil's burning thongs. Oh, jeez. I'll take a second silence for each plug. We even tried to save them. <laughs> we saved them once already. You really hate those songs. I'm going, oh, oh that's yeah. the camp, there's the fire. <laughs> Someone left a light on. <laughs> biggest, 
<laughs> fucking fire looks a long way out, doesn't it? <laughs> You're like, yep, looks a long way out. <laughs> Shit. Baxter. <laughs> it's 50-50. Steve had two, you had two, but you fucking failed this one. <laughs>